the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 136, Job 20-21 The reason Job's wealth disappeared. The mind of the friends who did not understand Job's condition did not have love and care for Job, which was what Job needed desperately. First point, when Job had no energy to listen to his friends any longer, Job started to spur up his argument. The suffering that Job was enduring was one that no one could relate to. All the things that had happened to him were beyond one's imagination. But Job's friends, who had never experienced anything similar, were eager to discuss and interpret the reasons behind his suffering. Job claimed that Job was a sinner and started to talk about God's righteous trials. When Job disagreed with him, Job became angry again and started to say, My troubled thoughts prompt me to answer because I am greatly disturbed. I hear a rebuke that dishonors me, and my understanding inspires me to reply. No matter what Job said to Jopha, Job was a sinner. Second point, Jopha made the statement that a son must repay for his father's sins. His children must make amends to the poor. His own hands must give back his wealth. It is said God stores up the punishment of the wicked for their children. Let him repay the wicked so that they themselves will experience it. Let their own eyes see their destruction. Let them drink the cup of the wrath of the Almighty. This statement was made till the days of Jesus, but Jesus claimed that no child was punished because of their parents. Jophar's criticism was based on his jealousy towards Job. Jophar used God's name and God's righteousness to back up his arguments. Third point, Jophar claimed that the reason why Job lost his possessions was because God had punished him for his wicked deeds. Job was someone who continually made offerings to God in the thought that his children may unknowingly commit sin in front of God because of his wealth. In fact, Job's wealth had nothing to do with his situation. But Job made a connection and moreover related this to God's trial. Job lectured that a wicked could prosper for a while but that they were bound to perish. What he was saying, was that Job was headed in the way of the wicked. First point, regarding the righteous being blessed and the wicked being punished, Job had different thoughts to his friends. To Job's theory, Job disagreed. Job furthermore told his friends that their arguments were wrong. Job told them that Job's statement that the righteous will prosper and the wicked must perish was a one-dimensional interpretation. Job told them that causality was a limited theory and that there were real cases of the wicked prospering. Job's friends condemned Job, but they spoke like they had no sins themselves. They did not look back on their sins. They were extremely critical of Job but very generous to themselves. Fifth point, Job claimed that a wicked person's punishment could be postponed and that a righteous person could die along with the wicked. Job realized that the one who can give happiness and suffering was God. 
as Job was someone who experienced both in extreme measures, he was able to realize this. Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgment is, and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.